My name is Jamaro Hill. I'm 35 years old. I'm the owner of the cookout and I'm from Monroe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my family dynamics. Uh, actually, my parents split when I was younger, when I was a baby. So I grew up on two different sides of town. My dad and family uh, from Garden Park. So I grew up in Garden Park, staying with my grandmother. But I also grew up with my mother's side of the family from Booker T. And I, I mainly went to school in Booker T, Lincoln Elementary, Carroll Junior High, Carroll High School. So, you know, I, I got, I was still heavily involved with, with both sides of my families, my, my mother and father family. Uh, did I like school as a child? Nah, I mean, it, didn't nobody really like, well, I ain't gonna say nobody. Most people really didn't like school as a child. I, I did not, I, I enjoyed uh, seeing friends, of course. But I, I mean, going to Lincoln, it was it was kind of rough, you know, especially with uh, not being in Booker T every single day. So most of the people I only seen during school, I was kind of an outsider until, you know, we started, they, they started seeing me every single year. What was high school like for me? Uh, at Kara High School, it was it was very interesting. It was very fun. It was very it was it was a lot of everything mixed in one. I mean, it was fun because I was in a band, and you know we did a lot of traveling uh, when I was in high school in a band, uh, New Orleans every year and different different places every year, and uh, it was also. Uh, it was a lot of work because I had to start working at an early age because I had my son when I was in the 10th grade. But uh, overall, my, my experience through high school at Kara High School was, it was pretty fun. It was, it was pretty fun. It was, uh, how tough was it being a father in the 10th grade? It was, ex it was extremely, extremely tough. Uh, minimum wage was 515. And uh, being a young high school, a uh, black person with no ties to anybody high up that can offer me a job. I, I was I was left to go and do uh, fast food jobs for minimum wage, but uh, you know I had to do what I had to do. But it was extremely tough balancing that in school work and the extracurricular activities of being in the band at Carroll High School. Uh, but with you know with the help of his mother, we 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 we, we definitely made it look easy. College experience, man. Them probably was them was them was some of the best months of my life. I uh, had a full ride to uh, UAPB music scholarship. Uh, I went there for music education. And I was in the band, and man, we traveled. It was every time we went somewhere, it was it was fun. Uh, I excelled in the band, of course, in my in, in my uh, the instrument that I played, which was French horn, and I. Um, I had to come back home because my son got sick and I was just wasn't able to commute back and forth from Louisiana to Arkansas. But those were some, were some key months in my life because I only went for one semester. What was the plan after leaving college? I really didn't have a plan, uh, a concrete plan. The plan was just to come back and uh, work, take care of my child. and. Uh, to transfer to either uh, Grambling State University or, or NLU at the time, but I ended up not transferring and just entered the workforce and, and uh, never left out. After being in the workforce for, man, 12 years, I uh, noticed that that uh, if I wanted to live the life that I, that, 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 that I envisioned for myself, that I would have to be my own boss instead of uh, working hourly for someone else. I worked at uh, Captain D's under Miss Hemp. I worked at uh, K 
KFC under Miss Dade. I've worked at uh, Graphic Packaging. That job really, uh, that job really gave me a lot of the, the uh, materialistic things that I have today. Graphic Packaging. Uh, I worked at uh, Gardner Denver, Thomas Gardner Denver, and a few more other, uh, you know, the fast food, the in and out places. How long after starting my business did I get my first food truck? I actually had it when I first started. Uh, when I started working for Graphic Packaging, I took my 401k uh, that I was going into the entire time I was working there, and I, I put down half for my food truck. Then I took the rest of the money I had and went and got a catering grill. And me and my homeboy Larry actually to sell barbecue off of uh, Eastgate Shopping Center right here on Louisville, man, to raise up the rest of the money for the food truck. So uh, when we first started, it took us a couple months to raise that money up, but we, out the gate, we had a food truck. At one point did I know I wanted to become an entrepreneur? Um, I had it in my mind that I wanted to be an entrepreneur when I, when I felt like that I wasn't gonna be able to clock in and work for somebody else to uh, provide the lifestyle that I wanted. And uh, so that's when I decided to myself that I just need to come up with something and I needed to uh, get out on my own. When I went into business, it was almost a, a supply and demand type of thing. You know, Monroe didn't have any food trucks, but one phase, Fat Burger. And every other city I went to, it was multiple food trucks everywhere. So I had the mindset of, you know, I get this food truck and I go to these businesses that don't want their employees late for lunch or go to these nightclubs where people don't have food after they can do eating. Then I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I, I knew I was, I knew it was a six figure business. How many years did I have a food truck until opening my restaurant? I had my food truck in 2016 and we opened this restaurant in 2020. So it was it was four years of running a food truck until I got the opportunity to open a restaurant. I had zero experience. Uh, the only experience I had was those uh, few fast food jobs I had before I even turned 18. It, I learned everything from, from trial and error, from YouTube, from research, from books. Um, if, if I didn't know something, I tried to reach out to somebody who I felt like knew, or I just uh, researched it myself and I and and learned it from my mistakes, from from managing my employee and running a restaurant. I don't feel like it's a age limit on being an entrepreneur. I mean, you could be you could be as 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 young as 12, 13 years old. I feel like if you have the knowledge to run something, we have to get the stigma of you know the owner have to be. Uh, uh, a certain age in order to do anything and that's and that's what entrepreneurship with being a politician or anything if you put your mind to anything you just have to put the time in to research to make sure that you uh, plan to be successful in whatever it is you're doing why not sit under a more experienced restaurant owner before starting your own my own I would have loved to do that but uh, I don't know this this day in time I've learned that uh, people might say something or offer that they might be able to uh, help you out in that type of way but uh, I don't think that that was available for me and I'm and I'm saying I don't think because I don't want to offend anybody that I know that might own a restaurant that say you know you could have did it with me but I don't. I just didn't feel like that anybody would have done that for me. Of course, I would do that for anybody that um, that would need it from me. But I don't. I, I didn't feel like that was available for me. What do I say to people who feel like I opened this restaurant on the wrong side of town? Uh, ain't no wrong side of town. Monroe is my town. I can open up a restaurant on the north, south, east, west. I mean, Monroe is is not. Uh, designated to one certain people. I mean, it's the, the people in this town are the people who it belongs to. And you know, anybody high up can't tell you otherwise because in in, in retrospect, they actually have to uh, serve the people. In, in, in any political uh, seat, you know, the, the, the people run the town. So, you know, we 
I don't I don't think I opened it up on the wrong side of town. I think the uh the side of this the side of town just got the wrong impression of me. How do I juggle having a family and then running a the business? Man, that's one of the that's get no, and it's not one of that is the hardest thing to do. Uh because this business really consumes me. It tries to anyway, and I have to draw the line somewhere to make time uh for my kids, for my family, uh, for my wife. I have to make time for 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 those things in order to make sure that, you know, because of my personal life goes down, it would affect me in my business because that would affect my uh, attitude to my employees and my customers. If I could give my younger self advice, what would it be? Uh, to not spend too much time at the cookout and spend more time with family. Uh, any any business is expendable. Any business can uh, fail. Any business can be remade. But you can't you can't remake family. You can't remake memories. You can't replace time loss. So I would I would tell myself you know take time you know for your family. You know it's okay to leave work even if something ain't done. If you put in enough time at work, go home and spend time with family. If I could give someone that's a business that want to be a business owner advice, I would tell them to uh, research. Knowledge is power. Know what you're doing. Uh, if you're dealing with people, make sure your customer service is 100% um, A1 because the customer is what puts the money in your pockets. Money don't grow on trees. And of course, make time for family. You know, don't don't indulge yourself too much in your business that you lose yourself. Man, I really never uh, paid attention to stuff like that because really and truly when you uh, when you deeply rooted into God, it really don't matter whether you're in the safest city or you're in the most dangerous city. Um, you know, you can succeed anywhere. I, I know those plays a factor as far as how much money is in the city, but you know, still my, my faith is in God. It don't matter if I have a food truck or a restaurant or I'm in a uh, a, 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 a booming city or, or a poor city, you know, I, I will always be successful in my mind because I operate my business uh, with God first. Out of all the places I can open the cookout while I'm uh, Because I'm from Monroe, you know, I, I'm, I'm here, my kids here, I'm, I'm rooted here, but I'm also looking for, you know, other cities to open up in, you know, cookout coming soon near you. Aye, aye.